Well, since I last uh, spoke to Livewire in August, um, the response from uh, central banks, particularly the Federal Reserve, has been to turn on the printing presses again. Uh, Fed Chairman Powell says this is not QE, uh, but it is. And the um, Federal Reserve's balance sheet is uh, expanding again. And markets are uh, in a very uh, frothy mood. We've had a, a huge rally again in equity markets. We've had um, another dramatic tightening in uh, credit spreads. Um, and it's been very much risk on. So uh, it's uh, almost a continuation of this story that whenever <coughs> economic data turns down, the response from central banks is to print more money. Um, and that is <coughs> leading to a, a further inflation of uh, asset prices uh, globally. So yes, we, we, yeah, we, have the, we have the same underlying issues and the same policy uh, response. I think what is interesting is going to be to see what happens next in Europe and in Japan, where obviously there is, uh, we have negative interest rates and there's less room for the central banks there to, to cut interest rates. And I think the one thing that we've got to watch very carefully is a switch away from monetary policy to fiscal policy. And uh, it looks like Japan might be the first country to move in that direction. Um, and it's therefore going to be very interesting to see what happens to bond yields in Japan, which has obviously been one of the biggest sources of negative bond yields globally. Um, and of course, Japan is a, is, is a huge capital exporting country. Um, and if yield, bond yields start to rise in Japan, what will be the impact of that? onto uh, other bond markets uh, globally um, and uh, what that will do for supply demand dynamics in, in, in financial markets globally. So um, yeah, the, <coughs> my, the, the, the concerns that I expressed in the, in, in the video in, uh, in, in August are, are still very much, very much there. 2020 of course will be a, a huge year for politics in the United States with the uh, presidential election, um, but we've since we last spoke, um, we've seen uh, the move by uh, India in Kashmir. Uh, uh, we've seen uh, protests erupt uh, on the streets of Hong Kong, um, and we've seen protests in Iran. We've seen protests in Chile. Um, uh, we, we 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 see. Uh, political protests yeah, really across Latin America. Uh, so the, the, the political temperature globally is, is rising and this, ver this, this political reality of this tremendous gap between the haves and the have-nots um, is, is there. And um, yeah, that's that's, that's bubbling away and, 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 and I think that, that, that is becoming more and more serious. Um, and I, I think that in, increases the, 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 the chance that the perception that monetary policy is, 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 is not the answer because of course all that's happened with monetary policy is, is, is that companies are not in, investing uh, in plants and equipment and. Uh, and in jobs and, and expanding their businesses. They're in, engaged in financial engineering. Um, in, and, and this happened in Japan in the late 1980s. In Japan, uh, a lot of companies were engaged in financial engineering. It was called Zytec. And that was what led to uh, the inflation of the Japanese equity market bubble that burst uh, so spectacularly uh, in 1990. Um, and I think there, there, there is, is going to be a, a lot of political pressure to switch gears from monetary policy to fiscal policy. Um, and uh, that, is, yeah, that, that is going to be a very big test 
for, for global markets if, if and when that happens. I am concerned that the Zytec that we had in, uh, in Japan in the late 1980s, financial engineering, um, is, is really what we have had a lot of in the West um, since the global financial crisis. So that means companies issuing debt to buy back stocks. Uh, and of course for shareholders uh, that's meant spectacular returns and ever higher levels on equity indices like the, like the S&P. And <clears throat> as a result of this financial engineering, um, you know, companies seem more concerned with their financial results than actually investing in their businesses. Um, and you know, short term, uh, obviously, it's, it's very good news. Longer term, I'm not sure that's so, such a healthy thing to happen. All, all we see is you, know, you, you come in almost every morning and stock indices are at, at ever higher levels. And so um, yeah, this, this, this inflation in, in financial assets is continuing. Um, and it's making life you know, very, very, very difficult for all, all, all types of, uh, of, of, of managers. So it's a, it's a very difficult uh, scenario in, in, in which to invest.